If you're a beginner in the Amazon space, there are three things that people who are not successful do and you should 100% avoid before launching your product on Amazon. Reason number one, people who tend to not be successful are perfectionists. Having high standards for your product and your business are very important and necessary and you should go into the business with the intention of knowing that there are obstacles down the road. Instead of prolonging the time that you're spending on creating your product and making it perfect, just focus on the priorities of what would make the product really functional and usable for your customers and know that you can always make new iterations of it. For example, with my product Vino cards, I wanted to make sure that all of the information was super accurate, that the design was perfect, everything was in place, that there were no spelling mistakes. And even though I had people look over the product and I spent hours just making sure everything was tip top, there ended up being mistakes anyway. And that's just the reality of things. There's always gonna be something that you wanna change or fix that needs updating. At the time, I was launching it during the holiday season, so I would've completely missed that prime time for customers to buy my product. And I just had to put it out there, and even though I came back with mistakes, now I know what to do for version 2.0. And that's the most helpful thing that you can take away is that you can always make a version 2.0. You can always update it and make it even better, especially after you get feedback from your customers. And that's why I think that spending too much time at the beginning perfecting the product is at a disadvantage for you. I got tons of feedback from customers that received the product and they let me know how it could have been better and what they wished that they saw in the product, all sorts of different feedback that was really useful for me to use and I will be implementing for my version 2.0. So use this to your advantage and perhaps customers can help you out and once you actually see the physical product, you can actually start brainstorming what you wanna change about it. If you wait too long, competitors might beat you to it and you wanna be the first in that space if you're creating a product that doesn't exist yet. So get ahead of your competitors. So put the product out there and know that it's not set in stone. You can always make changes and that'll relieve some stress in the long run and especially some time. We're not all experts at the beginning. We have to go through a series of trials and errors to learn from our mistakes. Don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. Just move forward, put your best foot out there and launch the product. Just know you can always make changes. Reason number two why people fail on Amazon is the lack of self and setting these limiting mindsets throughout your business journey that really hinder the process overall. If you don't have a strong belief system in yourself, in your potential, in your business, you won't succeed. At the beginning and even throughout your business journey, it's super helpful to have a support group, have your friends and family be there as a rock to support you through the difficult parts of a business journey. Look for ways to keep yourself accountable. Each day, write out a task that you want to complete for your business. It could be a very small task, it could be several tasks, but just focus maybe on just one that can really propel you forward and make you feel like you've accomplished something in that day. A lot of times, people are starting off with a side hustle or a, a new business, they're still working a full-time job. So so if you just set aside one thing to do each day, it will accumulate to something much bigger and you'll feel a lot more accomplished and like you're making strides forward. Another resource are masterminds. Masterminds are a collection of beginners and experts that are open to having a conversation with you and sharing their tips and tricks on how to move through a business journey. And that could be another way to reinforce your self-belief system and reinforce the confidence that is within you when you wanna go through your business journey. Find and build a tribe that can support you throughout the way. It'll make you feel a little more stable and build that foundation to really help you move forward. Believe in the process and in the training that you're allowing yourself to learn during this time that you're building your product. It's really important that you build that foundation so that you can move up and move freely with confidence and feel like you're making a difference with your product. And own the mistakes that will come along the way as well. It shouldn't shatter your foundation. If anything, it should build you up, learn from what you've done wrong in the past and how it can propel you forward and just know that there are solutions to things. So overall, just have confidence in your product, in yourself more importantly, and just know that it will turn out the way you want it to turn out if you put in the time and work. Reason number three why people fail on Amazon is time management. You've probably heard this from a lot of other YouTubers or entrepreneurs, but it is important to work with intention. 
Work on something every day, like I mentioned above. Write one thing down that you wanna accomplish each day, and over time, you'll see that new doors are opening up, new opportunities to really build on your business and on your product and making strides forward. Don't waste time on the little details at the beginning. Focus on the big picture. Focus on what will bring your product to life the quickest and in the most affordable way. And later on, when you're just about to launch the product and have it manufactured and all of that, then you can focus more on the details, but it's the big things that will move the product forward and you can always fine tune it later on. The biggest thing is to prioritize. And when you write out a list of things that you need to do, you can set it aside as things that I need to complete this week versus things that I need to complete within the next three months. And having those lists of things will help you stay focused. It'll make you feel more organized and know exactly what you need to do each day and it's also a good way to track your progress it'll help you feel like things are being done that you're moving towards a goal that you're really excited about and know that you know in just a short amount of time you'll be able to make a profit out of it there are so many tips out there on time management find what works best for you i do have some tips on how i keep productive i'll link the video here but there's so many different ways where you can stay productive and figure out what the best path is for you so go ahead and check that out but there's so many different ways that you can stay productive and focus and be on the right path so do your research find some things out there that can work for you and time management will be a lot easier as the days go on you're the one that determines your online success it lies within you so you have the potential and the capability to implement all sorts of different techniques and strategies to help launch your business and to ultimately launch on Amazon to start building a profit hopefully within the first six months of launching. If you want to learn more about how your first year can look like selling on Amazon, click the video linked here. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.